Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. This is the second part of the video on installing and configuring Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync. In the first part, we successfully installed Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync on this Windows Server 2025 system. A link to the first part of the video is provided in the description below. In this video, we are going to learn the steps to configure Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync for provisioning Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. Now that the agent has been successfully installed, the next step is to configure Cloud Sync in Microsoft Entra ID. By configuring Cloud Sync provisioning in Microsoft Entra ID, we direct the on-premises agent on how and which on-premises identities should be synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. Unlike Microsoft Entra Connect Sync, all configuration settings for Cloud Sync are managed directly within the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. We need to access and log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we use the global admin account to sign into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. On overview page, we can see the basic information about our Microsoft Entra tenant. The primary domain name is msftwebcast.in and the license type is Microsoft Entra ID Free Subscription. Expand Identity menu and click on Show More. Go to Hybrid Management and click on Microsoft Entra Connect. Now click on Cloud Sync. Under Monitor, click on Agents. We can see the machine name and IP address where the agent was installed along with the current status details. In our case, the machine name is WS2K25-DC01 and the current status is active. We have installed Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync on this Windows Server 25 machine. Now, to start the configuration, we need to click on Configuration. As the banner indicates, to configure Entra ID to AD provisioning, a Microsoft Entra IDP1 license is required. Since we are configuring AD to Microsoft Entra ID Sync, the Microsoft Entra ID Free subscription will be sufficient. Click on Configurations and select AD to Microsoft Entra ID Sync. If you have multiple Active Directory Forest, you can select the domain for which you want to configure this from the drop down menu. In our example, msftwebcast.in is already selected. Check Enable Password Has Sync and click Create. Wait for few seconds. Once completed, you will receive a notification. Cloud Sync configuration successfully saved. You will be redirected to the overview page. The Get Started screen will open. From here, we can continue configuring Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync. The configuration is divided into five sections. Go to Overview tab. As we can see, the configuration status is currently disabled. Click on Get Started. The first three steps are optional. Click on Add Scoping Filters. Scoping filters are used to specify which objects will be synchronized from on-premises Active Directory. By default, all users and groups are synchronized. You can narrow the scope of the agent to synchronize specific users and groups by using on-premises Active Directory groups or OUs. Personally, I prefer selecting the objects for synchronization based on the OUs in Active Directory. Select the Selected OUs option. Click OK. We need to specify the distinct year's name of the OU. Open Run menu, tap dsa.msc and press Enter key. For this example, I have created some users, groups and OUs. All the objects we want to sync are stored under the India OU. So essentially, we only want to sync objects from the India OU and its sub-OUs. Right click on India OU and select Properties. Uh, let me click on OK, click on View and select Advanced Features. Again, right click on India OU and select Properties. Go to Attribute Editor tab, copy the distinguished name of the OU. Click OK, again click OK. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Paste the copied name and click on Add. At the top, click Save to save the changes. Wait for confirmation message. We notice that you made a change, this is optional. You can go to Attribute Mapping. Click on Attribute Mapping. This is the second section. Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync allows us to easily map attributes between our on-premises user group objects and the objects in Microsoft Entra ID. You can customize the default attribute mapping according to your business needs. 
So you can change or delete existing attribute mappings or create new attribute mappings. In this video, we are going to skip this tab. Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync allows us to test configuration changes by applying them to a single user or group. We can use this to validate and verify that the changes made to the configuration have been applied correctly and are being properly synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID. Click on Test Provisioning. We need to enter the Active Directory distinguished name of the user account. Go back to Active Directory Users and Computers. Expand India, expand Users and right click the user account and select Properties. Go to Attribute tab and copy the distinguished name. Click OK. Again click OK. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Paste the distinguished name of the on premises user account and click Provision. This will take a few seconds. On this page, we can view the attributes of the imported user account. Close the window or click Provision another user to synchronize another account from the on premises Active Directory. Let me close this window. Expand Users and click on All Users. Verify that the on premises synced user is present on the All Users page. We can see the on-premises user account with the display name Akshay Kumar is present in Microsoft Entra ID. Click on Cloud Sync Configurations link. Click on msftwebcast.in. Three sections have been completed. Let's move to the fourth one. Click on Edit Properties. The default properties section provides information on accidental deletions and email notifications. The accidental deletion feature is designed to protect you from accidental configuration changes or modifications to your on-premises directory that could impact many users and groups. Click the pencil icon to edit the default settings in the configuration. Specify an email address that should receive the email notifications related to the cloud sync health. Prevent accidental deletion prevents a mass deletions of the objects. By default, this value is 500. That means if you delete 500 users in on-premises Active Directory, Cloud Sync will not sync those changes to Microsoft Entra ID. You can modify this value as per your requirement. Click on Apply button to save the changes. Wait for the confirmation notification message to appear. Go to Get Started tab. In the final step, we will enable our configurations. Click on Review and Enable. Once you have finalized and tested your configuration, you can enable it. Click Enable Configuration to enable it. Wait for the confirmation notification message to appear. Once the configuration has been saved successfully, check the Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync dashboard to ensure the status now shows as healthy. Click on msftwebcast.in. Now check the configuration status again. This time it shows as enabled. Click on All Users. Cloud Sync Provisioning is scheduled to run at every 2 minutes. Any additions or changes to users, groups and passwords will be synchronized to Microsoft Entra ID during the scheduled window. Under All Users, you should be able to see the user Akshay Kumar and Vishal Kedia. The on premises Sync Enabled column will show Yes, indicating that the source of authority for this object is the on premises Active Directory. To validate Cloud Sync is working, check the provisioning logs. Click on Cloud Sync Configurations. Under Monitor, click on Provisioning Logs. On this page, you can find the log about Vishal Kedia, Akshay Kumar and our group IND users. Now you can assign the license to your on-premises synced users and test signing in with the new users to access the cloud services. This completes the installation and configuration of Microsoft Entra Cloud Sync on a Windows Server 2025 system. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.